The intro is trying out the floor. She's testing it out to see if it's dry enough. What do you think, Banj? Huh? What do you think? It's not quite dry, but it's dry enough to hold up the weight of a puppy dog. All right, we're back again with the next uh, layer of flooring now, and it took about almost three weeks for the first uh, three, four inches of the subfloor to fully dry. And then we're starting with the second layer that's gonna bring it up to, you know, within a half or a quarter of an inch of the surface layer. And we're still using our reclaimed floor material from the old floor, but this time we're putting a flat surface on it that's as level as possible, and we're putting a, you know, a scratch into it as a scratch coat. And, um, and then we'll just be able to lay our tiles into that and the final, uh, final layer. Right, so we got the second coat of floor in and it's pretty much dry now and I'm mixing up the final batch of um, the finish floor and so I'm mixing this up all new I'm not gonna reclaim and reuse the old flooring uh, because I just want this to be uh, a certain mix and I want it to be special and it's gonna be that last thin coat don't want it cracking at all so the first step was grabbing a bunch of clay and we get clay around here from people digging up foundations. I think this stuff came from somebody who was digging out a root cellar because where I live if you dig down about 10 inches you hit pure clay and so everything below that is just this great clay. It's perfect for natural building. It's great that we have this resource uh, right here that's local and uh, you mix it in a certain proportion with sand and then some kind of fiber. I'm probably going to use sifted straw and also some cattail fibers because um, I want to have quite a bit of fiber in this finish layer so that there's a lot of good uh, resistance to wear and tear. The first step in mixing up this final batch of plaster is uh, screening the clay.
All right, so I'm like two batches in or so, and I made it this far, and it's looking pretty good. I think I'm ending up using quite a bit more of the floor material, like the new mix of floor material, and that takes a lot of sifting. It takes a lot of slaking of clay, and so it's just taking a lot longer than I was expecting because the reused floor material just went so fast putting it in. So it is dried to a uh, sort of firmness. It's soft enough to be able to burnish it with this piece of plastic, but it's firm enough so that I'm not really making indentations and I'm not moving the plaster around. Um, I'm just smoothing it out. The surface gets smoothed out because the trowel doesn't always leave like a perfectly smooth surface. So, so there have been some cracks that have formed in the finished layer of plaster and I'm sort of filling those in. Um, sort of healing them by uh, patching them up with uh, fresh plaster and they crack a little bit more and then you add a little bit more and you just keep on doing that until it pretty much closes up um, and then you burnish the cracks out and hopefully you get them out before it dries. <laughs> I've got this entire first section done, which is about two thirds of the floor, and I've got the linseed oil on. I put about five coats of linseed oil on. I didn't end up using any kind of solvent. It seemed to take up the linseed oil just fine. Kept on taking it up and it was soaking in pretty good. So I've let it dry for several days now, but I'm gonna just move some of the kitchen stuff into place. I'm not really gonna start using this place right now, but I'm gonna try to clear that space over there so that I can get going on that last section of floor and get that laid in as, as soon as possible. Looking forward to getting this place back into some semblance of organization and also getting my kitchen back. And as far as how it turned out, I'm fairly happy with it. Most of the floor looks fine. There were some problems with cracking and I think that was just my method of laying the floor because there's certain parts of it that are fine and it's all the same plaster mix. Uh, but some parts of it cracked more than others and I think that might have been just the way that I was spreading it with the trowel. I might have been sort of stretching it out too much. trying to get it a little bit warmed up. We've had unbearably cold weather for, it's like November 12th, 13th. I think it was two, two nights ago, got down to four degrees. I've never heard of it getting that cold this early in the season anywhere. Um, it was another polar vortex thing because of the warming of the Arctic and it pushes the jet stream down into the lower part of North America. Anyway, so I'm warming up the house now. You can see my stove set up here. Whoa, oh my God, what am I doing? <laughs> I don't know if you can see that very well, but um, my stove is suspended above what is going to be my future floor in this section of the, the floor. I've got it down to the gravel, took, a, took all the old floor out. I just have to put in the vapor barrier and then I'm gonna build up 
the floor with the reclaimed floor material, but I built this little setup so that I could keep my stove in place while I'm doing this and continue to heat my house. Um, but I think it's going to work fine. You might be alarmed by the fact that it's on wood, but this is actually still cold. This is not heating up at all. Like, no part of this is, is even warm. So, I don't think it's going to be a problem. Now, although it's going to take a lot longer to dry, I decided to do one additional layer instead of just doing it all at once because it just seemed way too thick and likely to crack. So I've done like a second layer that brings it up to about a quarter of an inch from the surface, the floor surface, and uh, then I'll just have to wait and I might have to wait until spring to actually do the finish. Um, the finish layer because I'm going to be going to Florida and this is probably not going to dry until around the time that I leave. It's unfortunate but I think it's a better option than having it all crack like crazy. All right, well, I was able to get this final layer finished. Um, and it was only ended up being about a quarter of an inch, some spots even less. And I think that made all the difference in preventing the cracking from happening because I did have some cracking because I tried to do a, a final coat that was just too thick on this other section of floor that I've already finished. Um, so this is definitely the key. I think also the second to last layer dried a lot faster because it was a rough layer, had a lot more surface area and so it evaporated quicker and so it dried out faster and then I was able to get this final layer down. So I think that's definitely, if I learned one thing that I might have forgotten in the past, it's that you definitely always want to have your final layer be like a quarter of an inch or so. Uh, it's just got to be so thin to prevent that cracking from happening because you are smoothing out the surface and I think it's just more, much more likely to crack if you're having a smooth surface. This does have some sort of hairline fractures in it, but I think once I put the oil down, those will sort of, uh, the layer will expand a little bit and it will seal up those holes, so those cracks, so I don't think that will be a problem. But I'm glad that I'm going to be able to get the oil on and get some coats on and get this protected before I leave for the winter. Well, it turns out it has taken most of the fall to finish this project, but Tomorrow I leave for Cleveland and then eventually uh, in, on the first of the year to Florida and I just finished uh, pretty much sealing this floor with linseed oil and it's all smooth. I got the tiles laid. There's a little bit of drying that I'm going to do, allow to happen while I'm gone and then I'm going to finish off the tiles over there but pretty much the whole floor is done now. I've got my wood stove back where it should be and sitting on the floor. And uh, now I'm ready to take off. I'm ready to leave it uh, for the winter and it'll continue to dry. The oil will continue to dry while I'm gone. So we got it done just in the nick of time. And I did not think I was gonna even get this far before I left. So it's good that I made it this far. So I hope you stuck with us the whole time. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, share and give a thumbs up to the video, and also check out the, the um, Hardcore Sustainable Instagram page and the Facebook uh, as well, and uh, we'll see you next time.